Do you remember how Doctor Strange was supposed to appear in WandaVision? And they decided to cut him out of the movie because they didn't want to make it a boys club. Well, it looks like Black Widow got the same treatment. What's going on with the MCU? Before I get into the topic, I wanted to show you guys this. Look at this red letter media video. They did a half in the bag for Black Widow. 52,000 downvotes to 15,000 upvotes. That's kind of strange. They didn't even really go as hard on this movie as they've done on other movies. Uh, Captain Marvel didn't have a ratio like this. Why Black Widow? It's it's just interesting, some of the reactions to this movie. I did not expect to see this. They'll be fine. Just kind of weird, like... This doesn't seem like something that their audience would really be against unless there was a Twitter mob that went after the, the video for this. Really weird. So here's the unsurprising news, I should say, but kind of a dumb move in my opinion. Apparently, there was going to be a Tony Stark cameo in Black Widow, but they decided to change it and cut it out of the script it was in an early version of the script. Because, well, Natasha doesn't need the boys on this one. So, weird decision. It's the same decision that they made with WandaVision. I know I talked about this. Originally, Doctor Strange was supposed to be the guy that comes in and kind of gets things going, somewhat saves the day. And then that was going to lead into Multiverse of Madness. That was the original plan. Instead, they decided to rework WandaVision and rework Multiverse of Madness, Doctor Strange 2. And that's because, well, they didn't need no man, particularly a hot man, to come in and save the day or something. So that's why Doctor Strange was cut. I really doubt he would have saved the day. I think he would have came in and gave like some kind of advice that helped push her into being the, the Scarlet Witch. I don't know. It's tough to say without that script leaking. I'm sure it will someday. Or we'll at least get more details on that alternate story. But it's just, it's funny what's going on. Like They're so open about it. And I'm going to tell you, this is eventually going to bite them in the ass. Black Widow is not a great movie. Okay, it's a subpar movie. Loki was not a great show. It was a subpar show. Uh, Falcon and the Winter Soldier, I felt the same about. Thought it was a subpar show. WandaVision started off great. And it probably would have been great had they have kept uh, the original script. But the changes to make it some feminist vehicle really ruined it in my opinion. But check this out, the reasoning for this, and it's pretty telling. Black Widow writer Eric Pearson recently claimed that a Tony Stark cameo was cut from an early version of the film's script, while the film's director, Kate Shortland, revealed that an executive decision was made to ensure no male Avengers would show up in the movie. Speaking with ComicBook.com's podcast Phase Zero, Pearson was asked about the Tony Stark rumors that had been circulating before the film's release, and if there was any validity to them. Pearson answered, I feel bad for the person who asked me this the other day because I was I said there was never any discussion, but I do remember now that one version of the script prior to me literally had written into they had it written into the end moment of Civil War with Tony and Natasha of like I'm not the one who has to watch my he continued, but it was old footage. I would, have ha I would have been, hey, audience member, where are we? We are at a key We are at a key moment. So it wouldn't have been Robert Downey Jr., to at least the best of my knowledge. Basically, they would have reused old footage to put him in the movie. Therefore, they wouldn't have to technically, I don't think, pay Robert Downey Jr. shit. Or at least some kind of small fee, right? Some kind of small fee to kind of keep him in the movie. So I remember when those rumors came out, I was in London in our war office, in our war room office, and I just looked around and I was like, are we 
am I supposed to be? I have the script right here. Tony Stark's not in it. And everyone was like, no. Did you see anything? No, we didn't. I don't know where it came from unless somebody got a very old version where this kind of scene, which wasn't even a new scene, I don't know. I don't know where it came from, he stated. Pearson then on, went on to reveal he wrote a Captain Marvel screenplay that is 100% different than the version that came out. Well, if it's 100% different, it might have been 10% of a better movie. <laughs> I don't know. He wrote this movie. Actually, this movie's better than Captain Marvel. Like I said, I, and I, I gave like a mini review in my previous video. This movie, to me, was almost a good movie. Because it started off like a spy thriller. It was almost like watching Jason Bourne. And uh, that's one of the reasons why I liked Winter Soldier. So I, I was into this movie until the third act. At the third act, when it went total Weinstein and woke with the weird little agenda that they wanted to push with it, I kind of jumped off. And that, to me, ruined the movie. It's my opinion. Maybe you agree. Maybe you disagree. I don't know. But here's uh, here's where we get to Kevin Feige. While Pearson confirmed that there was indeed a Tony Stark cameo using Civil War footage in an earlier script, Black Widow director Kate Shortland revealed in an interview with Total Film that Kevin Feige made the executive decision to ensure no male Avengers were showcased in the film. Shortland explained initially there was discussions about everything and all the different characters. What we decided was, and I think Kevin was really great, he said, she doesn't need the boys. We don't want to feel like she needs the support. We want her to stand alone. And she does. So, personally, if you had reworked this ending, maybe not used Taskmaster or used him in a little bit better of a way, like the real Taskmaster, I think this could have been an awesome movie. Like, imagine if it was Taskmaster hunting down black widow because you know she's on the run and they have some kind of face off and then the movie ends you could have had that movie without any of the other avengers and it would have been a badass movie just her being hunted though it would literally be jason Bourne. <laughs> i don't think they have any shame in copying things anyway but they decided not to do that and to be clear again i don't think you know it's a big deal that none of the male avengers were in this movie it's just the thought processing behind it. Oh, she doesn't need any boys to help her because she's a strong woman. That kind of shit is the wrong approach when you're writing stories. And it's only a matter of time until these movies flunk out. I just, I don't see phase four, five, six, seven having the same magic as the first couple. And. I really do think that we are at the tail end of the comic book genre. It's only a matter of time. All of these genres phase out. From westerns to sci-fi. It's only a matter of time. And if they keep doing shit like this, they're just going to accelerate it. And they're going to have nobody to blame but themselves. Because you can't tell good stories putting woke plot points first. Anyway. That's pretty much it. Let me know what you guys think about all of this in the comments below. Also, if you would, please like, subscribe, share the video. Make sure you're still subscribed. Hit that notification bell. And I will see you on the next one. Peace. Also, if you want to help support the channel, check out my Teespring store. There's a link in the description. You can find some merchandise in there that you might want to check out. Also, take a moment. Make sure you're still subscribed to the channel. Uh, there's something going on right now, and they've been unsubscribing people. So just take a second and double check on that and subscribe if you're new.